I would yield a minute and a half to the gentlelady from uh, Colorado, the co-chair of the Second Amendment Caucus, Ms. Boebert. The gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Ranking Member Jim Jordan. I was raised, Mr. Speaker, in a Democrat home, so I understand how these policies are deceiving. I understand that we're told guns are scary. That's what we were told and that's what we believed because we trusted the people that we voted for. But just as most things in life, I grew up and learned that there's a better way to live. I was ignorant to firearms and the proper use of them. When I became a business owner, I needed to protect myself. There was an altercation outside of my restaurant where a man was physically beat to death. There were no weapons involved. He was beat to death by another man's hands. I have a lot of young girls who work in my restaurant and we needed an equalizer. I'm five foot tall. I barely weigh 100 pounds. I need something against a stronger potential aggressor to defend myself with. Talk about women's rights. Don't take my right away to protect myself. I mean, seriously, what are we doing here? I ask the supporters of this legislation, who do you think you are to disarm Americans and leave them vulnerable without help? You want to defund our police and yet leave us without a way to protect ourselves. Our founding fathers gave us a list of items and said, don't touch these things. And I'm telling you, gentlelady's time has expired. Keep your hands off. Gentlelady's of time our has expired. Members amendment. are reminded to address their comments to the chair.